Hello. Did you know that funnel cakes have actually been around since the Renaissance? That's right. The earliest written recipe that I found is English and it's from the late 14th century, early 15th century. But today I'm actually going to be working on a German recipe from, I believe, 1553. If you look up Straben, S-T-R-A-U-B-E-N, that's the German for funnel cakes. And then I'm also going to be working on an Italian recipe from, I believe, the 1570s, and that's by Scopi. So follow me as I make Renaissance funnel cakes. First, I'm starting off with the Straben recipe from 1553. And it just says to bring water to a boil and pour it on your flour. So right now I'm putting in half a cup of flour. And in a minute, I'm going to add the water once it boils. Now that I've boiled my water, I'm going to first start off with a fourth a cup of water. And stir that in. And it looks like I need more water. So now I'm adding in half a cup of water. The object is to get this to be like a very runny pancake batter. Okay. And now I'm adding in another fourth of a cup. Next, the directions say to beat in an egg and salt. So I'm going to add in an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. And one egg. And now I'm going to mix all of this together and I may add some more water here in a minute. Now I'm adding in another fourth of a cup of water. And as you can see, it's still pretty lumpy, so I'm going to continue stirring. Now for your funnel, you'll want just a, this is a simple funnel that I got from Walmart. The main thing is you want the hole to be a little less than half an inch. Now historically speaking, they would have put lard into a basin with a fire underneath to melt the lard. But for this experiment, I'm going to be using canola oil in a fryer. Okay, so now with the fryer, I've heated it up to 350 degrees. And then what I'm going to do with the funnel is I'm going to put my finger over the end and plug it up nice and tight like that. And then I'm going to put the batter into the funnel. And now the object is to swirl it around. And you'll want to fry it for about a minute on one side until it's golden brown, and then flip it to the other side.
Okay, so two lessons learned with the fryer I'm using. I should have left it um, to cook longer and also uh, put the lid on it. And also, this is at 350 degrees. I'm going to use the rest of the dough that I have to bake it at 375. I'm going to, to attempt cooking this at 375. I've got my end plugged up. I'm pouring the dough into the funnel. I'm trying not to burn myself. Okay, here we go. Now while the German funnel cakes are cooling, I'm going to work on the Italian. And with this recipe, I'm going to put in half a cup of flour. And just so you know, the original recipe says to take eight ounces of plain flour and then 10 fresh eggs. I'm dividing this recipe in half and I'm only going to use five eggs. So here's one. Two, three, and now I'm going to add in the other ingredients before I add in the last two eggs. So now I'm going to add in two tablespoons and three-fourths a teaspoon of sugar. Now I'm adding in a pinch of saffron and a pinch of salt, three tablespoons of melted butter. Now I'm going to mix these together before I add in the rose water. going to add in two tablespoons of rose water. I was waiting to add in the last two eggs because I wanted to see how thick or how runny the batter was going to be. And I'm going to go ahead and add in the other two eggs. So here's egg four. And five. Now I'm going to mix everything together. This gives you an idea of the consistency. As before, I've heated up the fryer to 375 degrees. And 
I've got my funnel. I'm plugging it up on the bottom. I'm going to use this to scoop up the dough. Well, batter. <laughs> then I'm going to pour it in. And then release and swirl it around. This is definitely more runny than the German recipe. And put my lid on and cook it until it's golden brown. Flip it and then it should be done. And it looks like I should Fried it a little bit longer on the first side. But. This has been my first time using that fryer. It's been an education. This is the German recipe on the right, and this is the Italian recipe on the left. Uh, one thing I did learn is Obviously, you want to bake it by 375 degrees and not 350. Otherwise, this is what happens. This one was at 375, and as you can see, it stayed a lot more firm than my kind of crumbly mess here. Flavor-wise, the German recipe, it's very simple. Tastes a lot like a funnel cake, like what I know from today. But the Italian one with the rose water the eggs, the butter, everything. There's more flavor in the Italian one than the German one. But either one I think tastes nice. If I had to make a choice, I would pick the Italian. I hope you enjoyed watching and hope you learned something just like I learned something. And have a great day. Please subscribe.